All right, welcome back. It's time for us to get into the health segment. And today on the health segment, we're going to be talking about something that has been, you know, in the news for a little while. We've been talking about monkeypox, and uh, people are wondering, what's monkeypox? You know, um, is it, uh, you know, <laughs> some, <laughs> some infection that monkeys give? Um, then recently, I think it was just about a couple of days ago, we heard about the Marburg virus, the Marburg virus. So, so we're going to find out today from our guest, Dr. Kelvin Owusu, who happens to be the head of occupational health and wellness at the Claron Health International. And we're going to be talking to him to find out what's all this about monkeypox and Marburg virus. You want to ask any questions? Do so by the WhatsApp line 0550585832. Dr. Kevin, good morning. Good morning, David. How are you? Very well, and you? You're very, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, monkeypox. Yes. What are we talking about here? Well, it's a viral infection. Mm. Um, it's actually quite similar to smallpox, which was eradica eradicated many years ago. Okay. And in fact, some of the, 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 the vaccine against smallpox actually works against monkeypox as well, which is one of the reasons why we don't hear of monkeypox as much or as often as um, we, we hear of other viruses. Mm. So, but it's, it's been around. It's been around for a very long time <laughs> okay. with, with sporadic so, outbreaks here okay. and there. So, so I, I want you to break it down for us. When we say... Uh, pox. Where, where, where does this all come from? Because I know there's chicken pox, mm -hmm. there's small pox, now we have monkey pox. Who knows what other pox we'll be having <laughs> next? Now, for you who are watching, just um, a bit of uh, viewer discretion. The uh, images are not necessarily very palatable, so um, just viewers be advised. You will see some images soon on your screen. All right, so what's a pox? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's an eruption on the skin, okay. um, you know, so, so we can call it a rash, okay. um, you know, swellings, mm. you know, so it's, it's, it's along that line. So okay. uh, that, that's why all, almost all the diseases that erupt um, with skin mm. and manifestations yeah. are called pox. pox. So chicken okay. pox, you know, yeah. uh, monkey pox. Did you pox. ever get chicken pox? Yes, yes, I oh, did. did. I okay. did, sadly. Uh, <laughs> I was oh, in well, class, I was in class two or class three. Oh, so I, I, I had it early. Yes, yes, yes. Thankfully, you got it early. thankfully. So you, you can't find any evidence okay. on my skin. Yeah. No, no, I had it. I think um, I, chicken pox was 13, 14. <laughs> Yeah, 13, 14, somewhere there. That's yeah. I got my, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's best to have it when you're, when you're a kid. Actually. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as I had been threatened it was going to be. <laughs> Uh -huh. So let me just say it like that. <laughs> All okay. right. Mm. So yeah. So I mean, so the monkey monkeypox is also one of the one of the viral infections that has okay. um, skin manifestations. Okay. Uh, you know, where where you have the the swellings and the and the and the lesions on the skin, as mm. was shown in the images earlier. The 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 classic presentation of uh, of monkeypox is that it, you see the swellings or the rashes on the face and the extremities. So okay. you have it on the arms, mm. on the on the legs. Mm. It usually avoids the trunk. Okay. You know, so you have it on the face. Mm. The, so basically, the places where you know people see people most. People see. Yes, yeah. that's that's where monkeypox <laughs> likes to play. <laughs> so you can you can't hide it. Wow. <laughs> so that's 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 monkeypox. Mm. You know, and um, the good thing is that most of the variants tend to be self-limiting. Okay. What that means is that so you do get the infection, you do get go through the symptoms, and um, but it goes away by itself mm. in about two to three weeks. I see. That's the the, the typical cycle that it goes through. Without treatment. Without treatment, oh. it, will, it will go away. However, okay. I mean, there's always a however. Mm. I mean, uh, some some infections tend to be more severe than others. Mm. Of course, there are also um, uh, how do you call it associated symptoms that would definitely need medication, like mm. headache, severe okay. headache you know, um, tiredness, you know, um, loss of appetite, all these things would need some, uh, some, kind, of, some kind of attention, okay. you see. And, and of course, the, sweat, the, the, the pox or the rash also goes through some characteristics. I mean, it, as, you can, as you saw in the images, they are quite big. Mm. If you compare the, the rash of monkey pox to chicken pox, you yeah. see that it's, it's very, very big. Yeah. You know, because chicken pox tends to be very small. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's more like it's, it's generally it spreads, it spreads all over the place, the body, but, it's you know, the but they are tiny, tiny. Mm. Monkey pox will be big, 
you know like i said you can't hide it you yeah. know all over your face all over your your, your hands your 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 feet yeah. are, are all affected i mean i was even seeing some in the in the in the person's palm yes it's part of the the process so it, when it starts it, it has a it, it comes out like a like a bump mm. but in the history the natural progression it will it will dry out form like a, a, a scab and then fall yeah. off you know so that's wow. why in the palm you were seeing that there, there were some dry roundish yes. lesions that's usually later on in the disease okay. yes of course it leaves scarring which is very you know unappealing exactly <laughs> but over time and as is typical with a lot of scars over time you know the body sort of deals with it that's mm. why for many people who have had chicken pox even in adulthood yeah after a while you hardly see the yeah, the, 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 the scars yes mm. but it is it is a disease that spreads quite easy uh, quite easily through contact okay you know just like in fact they spread the mode of spread is similar to chicken pox so spread through respiratory droplets so somebody has it the person coughs on you or even as the person is talking to you mm. you know respiratory droplets or yeah. if um, uh, contaminated surfaces you know you don't wash your hand you go and eat mm. you're going to get affected or if you have if you make contact with the blistering you know the the lesions you yeah. can also get in, get infected so the spread the mode of spread is similar to chicken pox pretty, pretty much even though they are very different mm. um, viruses mm. i see um will you say that if we followed pretty much the COVID protocols we set in place right from the get-go there's a good chance that even if you came in the environment of somebody who had you would stay safe Yes, I mean, I think this has been uh, quite well established in 2020 and, and even till today. You realize that whilst we are dealing with the COVID um, pandemic, a lot of the other infections which would have usually been, which would have usually characterized this, this, this time, these times, you mm. know, the rains, etc., are not as prevalent, you know, because people are washing their hands more now. Uh, people are still wearing their face masks. So, mm. yes, the COVID protocols can actually protect us from a lot of diseases, including mm. including the monkeypox that we okay. are discussing today, okay. provided we actually stick, stick to, to it. it. Yeah. Yes, very, very important. Wow. What about the Marburg virus then? Well, Marburg is another virus, and, and whoever you know, is, is, and you know, because it's self limiting, you mm. know, the mortality rate is only about 3%. So, uh, monkeypox, we can, we can be gentle with it. But when it comes yeah. to Marburg virus, it needs all the attention and seriousness. Wow. First of all, you must understand that Marburg and Ebola are well, they are brothers wow. <laughs> from, from, from the same from the same Marburg family. Is that serious? Yes, 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 yes. In fact, in fact, to an extent, some people have have have, have claimed that Marburg is more dangerous than Ebola. But I mean, I'm not going Whoa. to go into that. You know, but Marburg can actually kill between fifty percent and eighty percent of people who are infected. Hmm. You know, which is similar numbers. That's in a very high. Yes, 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 very, very high. You know, so so it is a very, very, very serious disease that we really need to um, be cautious about. You see, now um, it's it's like I said, Ebola, Marburg, they are in the same family. They came from the same family of viruses. Mm. You know, just like how you have bacteria also in families, yeah. how we have we humans also in families. Ebola and Marburg also come from the same family. So they <laughs> so they wow. cause pretty much similar. Um, disease mm. symptoms, mm. you know, so headache, you know, tiredness, mm. uh, anore anorexia, that's loss of appetite, appetite you yeah. know, um, all those things are part of the prodromal symptoms, you see, and eventually as, as the disease progresses, then you have the hemorrhagic symptoms. Mm. Hemorrhage means bleeding. Yes. So you start bleeding from orifices. So you can oh, start bleeding from your, your nose, nose, from your mouth, your eyes, yeah. your, your, your anus, mm. you know. So, I mean, it is, it is a, ser a serious, serious disease that we do not want um, to get out of control, you see. Wow. And as with, as with all these diseases, monkeypox, uh, Marburg viruses, there's always a, a reservoir in, in, um, in, some, in the animal kingdom, mm. <laughs> you know. So um, the, monkeypox, uh, the monkeypox is found in, in a group of animals there what's it called squirrels you know monkeys uh, etc so when when humans interact with some of these animals mm. uh, when i say interact including eating them yeah. you you expose yourself to this and then it comes back to mm. us marburg has, is, is associated with with um, bats you know again monkeys okay. some other animals okay. along along that line now the interesting thing about the marburg virus is that first of all there's no vaccination against it mm. there's no vaccine against wow. it yet we are there is still in development and there's also no um dedicated antivirus that has anti antiviral agent that has been proven to work against it mm. you know so it's one of those diseases that if you get it early early um, reporting at hospital early initiation of supportive treatment because that's mm. really all we can do mm. you know because yeah you are, you are going to be very weak 
you know, in pain, you might be bleeding, you need supportive treatment. So a lot of fluids, IV yeah. fluids and related uh, related um, support needs to be given mm. in time. Otherwise, we'll lose so, you. So it's a disease that has to run its course. It's, it just, will, that, it's yes. just that you can then be supported to exist or outlive exactly. the virus. You see, the thing about all virus, viral infections is that they, they all pretty much run their course. Okay. You know. So we, we, we need to support you so that mm. you can you can outlast or outlive mm. the course the, of yeah. the virus. Yeah. You know, so that then it, when, when it has finished what, is, what it came to do, then it will disappear mm. and go. Mm. However, with, with, with Marburg, it doesn't just disappear and go. Even when you, are, you have recovered, there's still Marburg in your system. So it has been, yes, <laughs> it has been noticed, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has been noticed that w um, pregnant women, for instance, um, even when, when they have recovered, the Marburg virus can still persist in the placenta, which means the baby is Ooh. at risk. Or in fact, can even develop the disease. Yeah. You know, breastfeeding mothers also end up with Marburg virus in the, in the, the milk. milk, which means, again, wow. the, the, breast, the lactate, the, mm. what's the English word? The baby that is suckling yes. is also at risk of mm. catching the virus, you see. Then, <laughs> men, mm. <laughs> you know, men also have been known to keep, Yes, they, they, they hold a Marburg in, this, in their semen. Oh, I see. Yes, so actually, so when, when, when you have been treated uh, or when you have recovered from a mm. Marburg um, infection, you are actually prevented <laughs> from having sex. I see. <laughs> or let me put it this way, unprotected sex because yeah. the, the virus can actually survive in semen for a long time. Actually, wow. after, is it up to seven weeks? You know, so you really need to, need to protect your partner. Mm. You see, and so um, the, 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 the teaching is that you have to actually do have two negative seminal analysis done before you can have unprotected sex. Okay. After you have re you have recovered from Marburg, you know. So the wow. fact that you have recovered doesn't mean yeah, all is well. Okay. Yeah. You still need to make sure that you are not infecting the people mm. around you. Mm. You know. So you need to do one negative one test on your semen to show that you don't yeah. have it. And even after that, you do a second one I to see. confirm before you are allowed to. Otherwise, until then, you have to use condom mm. if you want to have sex or simply abstain. Yeah. Okay. So I have. A question but this is this is what's occurring to me well, because you said about 50 percent minimum 50 percent of the people who get it will die yes without without support without treatment. supportive treatment which means that literally if you have 20 people mm -hmm. it's like die live die <laughs> live die live die it's, live out of there so it's like the avengers movie yeah right? i mean it's as simple <laughs> as that is you don't have an option i mean literally it's 50 of the Mm -hmm. Fifty percent of the hundred. Fifty to eighty. Actually. Yeah, or to eighty percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in the best case scenario, you're looking at fifty percent. So if you get it, the chances of is fifty percent you're going to survive, or you know. Yes. You, if you don't but that is without supportive, supportive treatment. treatment. Okay. You know, so if 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 you get it and you delay and go mm. into hospital, or you get it and you know you think it's just an ordinary yeah. you know malaria and you are you are treating yourself. Yeah. You know. What are the classic yes. symptoms that you will see on the onset? So, you see, the, the, the issue is always that diseases all look alike. Mm. So it's always difficult to know, for, to, to point and say, this is my bag that yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm catching. The only way you can suspect is, assume, is if somebody close to you has been diagnosed mm. of having the Marburg, vi Marburg, Marburg virus disease, yeah. then when you start showing similar symptoms, symptoms then you know that this, this could be, let me quickly this. rush in, yeah. in, in there. So usually what typically happens is that the first group who usually um, get it, they tend to die, die because nobody even was aware that there was, yeah. it was happening in the yeah. first place, you see. But the, sim the symptoms typically Typically, uh, as with all diseases, headache. Mm. Mm. It has been described as a very severe headache. Mm. But the question is, how do you? I mean, well, the pain threshold for people are different. Exactly. So how do you know <laughs> that this particular <laughs> headache I'm having is a very severe headache? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's the thing. So headache, fever. Mm. You know, and uh, the rest of the thing, loss of appetite, weakness things like that. Mm. But um, as I said earlier, as the disease progresses, then you have the, the, the beginning of the bleeding um, issue. So mm. bleeding from the mouth, bleeding from the nose, and then bleeding from the, the intestines as well. I see. <laughs> so um, the, the, the question that comes to mind is that if you say that people um, can harbor the virus even though they've recovered, mm -hmm. How does that work? I mean, so is the viral load is just low enough because the immune system has overcome? Uh, or what? What's going on here? So you, you, you realize that the areas that I, I, I mentioned that the virus will tend to hide, yes. you know, breast milk, placenta, yeah. Yeah. you know, semen, these are places that typically most, uh, these are places that are 
protected. So ah, it's, yes, it's difficult the for the new system will not necessarily go there. Exactly. So okay. it's difficult for for In treatment, deal. all those things mm. to actually go there um, specifically. Mm. You know, so so they tend to hide there because okay. they they know that that is how they can they can. You know, evolution evolution is an interesting thing. Yeah, everything evolves to you know pr to procreate or mm. to protect itself. Mm. You know, so the virus too has evolved to know that if I go and hide in these areas, yeah, I can survive. And by survive, I mean that I can infect other people because mm. that's how they also guarantee their survival. Mm. You mm. know, so it's mm. it's an interesting mix of, of yeah. events. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So somebody sent a message on Facebook and says, um, "This is K two." Uh, says that's true someone had the infection and two weeks later he was okay it's just that there are scars on his body um, i think that's about the monkey, mon monkey yes. box that he's talking about there all right so wow so marburg how does one get marburg is it is it the level of is it at the level of contagiousness as um monkeypox well um I, 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 I don't think we can necessarily compare the two per se. Okay. You know, however, Marburg is also spread similar to uh, monkeypox. Okay. In fact, similar to all the other viruses okay, so that we have. Respiratory. Respiratory contact with an infected person, yeah. a, a, a infected surface, mm. you see. And so back to your question that you asked originally, hand washing mm -hmm. and, and, and face mask can actually, I mean, will indeed protect you yeah. From, from getting the Marburg virus. And if you know that somebody has been diagnosed, avoid the person because, mm. I mean, avoid the person except you are a health practice, a health person, yeah. you see. So get the, let's get the right people to actually go in there and attend to that person. Yeah. And of course, as health personnel, uh, we really also need to, I mean, adopt the protective measures that have been, that we have been trained to, mm. do, to, to adopt to, in, yeah. these, in these times because yeah. you really cannot tell just by looking at the person that you have Marburg yeah. or you have this or that. So yeah. we really have to protect ourselves at all times of course, provided that the materials are available. But why wouldn't why shouldn't the materials be available? Yeah, but that's, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, just to wrap up for us, um, it, when you have, you know, chicken pox, mm -hmm. we had these uh, calamine lotion and <laughs> other things that we use. Is there anything like that? But of course, calamine lotion is more of a soother. It's a soother, it's just yes. to, you know, let the symptoms be, be a bit more manageable. Do we, is it, I mean, you can use the same, you can use the same thing. It's mm. just that because, um, you see, chicken pox would, would have the, um, it's a bit itchy, yeah. you know, so the calamine lotion is meant to reduce the, yeah. al al soothe, I soothe, mean, the, yeah. it doesn't really reduce the itching per se, yeah. but at least it gives you some, some soothing relief, yeah. you know, so, yeah, so you, you can apply anything you want to apply, but like I mentioned earlier, it's a self-limiting disease, yeah. you know, so whatever you do, yeah. It will last it will its go course when it when, exactly when it's ready, when, to, when go. It is ready to go. Yeah. you know it's similar to common cold. Actually, mm. it takes two weeks. Yeah, whatever you do, you it can take, take any medication weeks. you yeah. take. It, it will take two weeks. Quicker. It won't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You see, so sometimes I mean, just observe. If it's not too serious, if you are not having too much um, um, symptoms of headache, you know, running nose, etc., mm. you can you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the yeah. ride. All right. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Dr. Kelvin, how do people get in touch with you? Yeah, I'm active on social media, Kelvin mm. Owusu MD, mm. and you can also follow our clinic page, Claron Health International, and you get all the help you need. All right.